In late winter and early spring, fishing with nymphs is the best way to catch trout. Steep mountain streams feature miles of pocket water. This requires a special method of fly fishing. It isn't difficult, but it's very effective. Trout lie on the bottom of the stream in areas sheltered from swift water so they can wait for nymphs to tumble their way. There are more nymphs in the stream in the spring than any other time of year because very few insects have hatched over the winter. Whenever you see trout suspended in the current, they're intercepting nymphs moving to the surface. High stick nymphing is the best way to fish turbulent water. Keep your cast short, very short. The idea is to put your fly in the slower current while keeping most of your line and leader off the swift water. This will prevent drag. The white water between me and the fly is far too swift for mending to do any good. A long fly rod extends your reach and makes it easier to handle your line over conflicting currents to get a good drift. Try to keep your rod parallel to the water and extend your arm for maximum reach. I like to fish two nymphs at a time. I slide the top fly about 12 to 18 inches up the leader and tie a clinch knot. This leaves a long tag end which I use to tie on the bottom fly. This requires one less knot than if I had tied the bottom fly to the hook of the top one and now both hooks are clear. Foam football strike indicators float well in rough water and are easy to use and adjust on the leader. My favorites use two colors. I've rigged this one so the yellow is toward the flies and the orange is toward the fly line. This helps me to know if I'm getting a good drift. If I'm not, the flies won't be as deep as they need to be. The strike indicator should drift down the run ahead of the nymphs. When the fish takes the fly, the strike indicator immediately goes under. If the flies come down the stream first, it's much harder to detect a strike. When the fish takes the fly, the indicator will continue to drift into the fish and it will take much longer for the indicator to go under. Wild trout can spit the fly out pretty fast anyway, so there's no point in making it any easier to miss a fish. Strike indicators made from water repellent yarns are easy to use and work great. Put a slip knot in your leader, put your yarn in the loop, and pull it tight. This holds the yarn in place, but the slip knot is easy to remove when you want to take the yarn off or change the depth of your nymph. Yarn is really valuable on slow, slick water found on tailwaters like this because it lands on the water softly and won't spook the fish. We'll cover nymphing techniques on tailwaters in the future. In this spot, there's no white water to mask my presence, so I keep my profile low and stay downstream of my cast and the fish. This fish saw my fly long before he ever saw me and release. Notice in this clip I put my fly just between the fast current in the middle and the dead water over the gravel. It's the perfect little spot for fish to sit to get that food and not have to exert all their energy by sitting in the faster current. Here's another one and he was faster than I was. One last thing, if you're not getting any strikes, you should add a split shot to make the flies heavier. A small difference in the weight can make a big difference in your success.